I came from a lot of um, my family. My parents were the only parents that were still together. Everybody else in the neighborhood's families were all, you know, broken homes and stuff. So uh, they, the kids, all the kids I grew up with, they only lived with their mother or their father, so they were always alone, so we always had somewhere to party. So more or less every house that was a friend of mine was a party house. So not only did we live in the hood, we had free access to whatever we wanted to do 24 hours a day. So it's kind of a free-for-all. So we were all getting into trouble real young. I started getting in trouble at, at 12, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just like, you know, and then everybody started getting on. There was this one kid that kind of came to our neighborhood from, came from Georgia, and he just was like three years older than us, brought drugs to the neighborhood, and from that point on he just destroyed everybody in our neighborhood on drugs. And everybody got addicted to it. Everybody went crazy. Everybody was stealing, and you name it, everybody got in trouble. Have you seen anybody from that area, uh, you know, since then? I still talk to everybody all the time, and it's it's so sad because 99% of my friends that we all, there was probably, like, uh, we grew up in a, this is a weird situation, but, like, a friend of ours' parents owned a bait shop, and what they did is they took all the bait shop stuff out of it and let us, all us runaways, live there. So there was, like, it was a house full of, like, 15 to 20 runaways, and we would uh, go steal all night long, car stereos, this, that, this, whatever, and uh, sell them to get the money just to live. And then we, when, then when we all got on drugs, it got ten times worse. So then it just it, it escalated, you know what I mean? And this was normal where I was from. It was totally normal. And now I still talk. I'm like, out of all the people I grew up with, there's probably four of us that are not still on drugs that are that got out of that environment and atmosphere and are not in prison still. Damn, well, you're one of the lucky ones then, obviously. Yeah, you know what? And I, I still struggle every day with addiction, and I always will. You know what I mean? Once you've got that bug, it kind of stays with you, so, you know. That's that for that. I mean, I've been, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't messed with that in a long time, but uh, you know, it's always in the back of your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Addict, uh, always an addict. That's why I say that, I guess. How did you initially meet Randy Savage? Mm. I had a strip club. <laughs> 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 he, um, 